We went on a trip and we want to know exactly how far did we go. Given our speed and the time that passed by, all we have to do is multiply. I like going on long trips on my red train. If I travel at 85 kilometers an hour, how far can I go if I travel all day and all night? I'll give you a hint. If you're stuck, you can use the formula the distance I travel equals the length of time I spend traveling multiplied by my speed. Let's see if we can work out how far Red travels on his train trip. His speed is 85 kilometers an hour, which means for each hour he travels, he covers a distance of 85 kilometers. He travels all day and all night, so that's a total of 24 hours he spends travelling. Now, how do we figure out the total distance he covers in 24 hours? There are many different approaches to solving this problem, and I'm going to look at a couple of them. One way is to think about how far Red travels in one hour, and use this to draw a diagram. If Red travels at 85 kilometres an hour, in one hour he covers a distance of 85 kilometres. But then he travels another hour, so we have to add another 85 kilometres. Then another hour, and another 85 kilometres. We have to repeat this process 24 times, because that's the number of hours he spends travelling. To get the total distance travelled, we could then add up all those individual distances. 85 plus 85 plus 85 and so on, 24 times. But that's going to take me a long time to do, and there's a much quicker way of solving the problem. A problem involving repeated addition can be rewritten as a problem involving multiplication. If I have four groups of two, I can either add them up using repeated addition, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, or if I know my times tables, I can multiply 4 times 2, which I know equals 8. In fact, that's what times tables are for, to make problems involving repeated addition quicker to solve. Let's see if we can use this in our present problem. We have 24 groups of 85, so we could use repeated addition to add them up. But a quicker way is to solve the equivalent multiplication problem. 24 times 85. Let's do it. Draw a box. Divide it into two columns, because the first number, 24, has two digits. Divide it into two rows, because the second number, 85, also has two digits. You end up with a box divided into four smaller boxes. Actually, it looks more like a window, doesn't it? Now, draw a diagonal through each of the smaller boxes. Write 24 along the top of the box, and 85 down the right-hand side of the box. Next, multiply and fill in the blanks. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 5 is 20. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 5 is 10. Next, add up the numbers along the diagonals. 0 2 plus 2 is 4 3 plus 6 plus 1 is 10. Don't forget to carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 
One plus one is two. Now read off the answer. Two, zero, four, zero. Twenty-four times eighty-five equals two thousand and forty. So if Red travels eighty-five kilometers an hour for a day and a night, he covers a total distance of two thousand and forty kilometers. That's almost the distance between Adelaide and Brisbane. Now that's a long trip, isn't it?